All right, guys, we got a 2016 Crosstrek with push button start in the shop today. So it's gonna be this key right here, I believe. Let's make sure here. Yep. So we have uh, Legacy over here. I believe that's 18 or 19. And then we have an Impreza here. And there's another, I believe a 19 Crosstrek outside. So we're gonna do quite a few videos today. Now, even though we're using the Crosstrek for our vehicle in the video, the installation is the same across the board for a wide variety of vehicles. So if you guys are watching this and you have, for example, an Impreza instead of a Crosstrek, it's exactly the same. So don't freak out. We're gonna show you guys how to plug in our plug and play harness. It's going to install right here underneath the driver dash. We don't even have to take anything apart right here. And then there's one adapter that's gonna cruise over um, and plug in underneath, or actually it's behind the glove box, but we can get to it from underneath. So we only have to pop off one panel um, and you don't have to remove any screws or anything. So we have the flashlight set up. Um, since there's no vehicle disassembly really, I'm just gonna jump into it. All right guys, so we got the Crosstrek all finished up. How you operate the remote start is you push lock three times on the OEM key. So we're gonna hit one, two, three. We're gonna give it a couple seconds. It's gonna energize the ignition, fuel pump, all that good stuff, and she'll fire up. So we will have parking lights illuminated in the back and in the front, as you can see. So that's just a visual confirmation that the remote start is active. So if you guys are parked like all the way across the parking lot and you can't hear it running, if the parking lights are on, she is on. So to do takeover, you basically hit the unlock button. You have 45 seconds to jump in and hit the brake pedal. So you open the door, close the door. Obviously we're on, the AC's on. Tap and release the brake pedal. You have to have a key with you and then you pull it out of park and you can just drive away. Now, if you guys exceed 45 seconds, it's just gonna turn off when you hit the brake pedal to drive away. So, one last thing I'm gonna show you guys is we're gonna go ahead and remote start it one more time. And you'll see everything kick on inside the cluster there. Now, if you guys decide that you're not gonna leave, the run time on the remote start is 15 minutes. So instead of letting it run and waste 15 minutes worth of fuel, we're just gonna go ahead and hit the lock button three more times. And it turns off. 